everybody. Welcome to Off the Vine. I'm your host, Caitlin Bristow. Today, we have Taryn on the podcast, celebrity makeup artist, my friend, bad bitch, confidence bad bitch. queen. The confidence queen of saying no. The queen of saying no. <laughs> the queen of repeating me. <laughs> the queen of repeating you. <laughs> and uh, we just hang out and have a nice <laughs> conversation. I freaking love you. And I, love you too. I think everyone will just enjoy this because it's, it, you'll, Cause you, it's how unhinged. Last time I had you on the podcast, mm-hmm. I made you watch the bachelor so much of it i learned so much i knew nothing you'd never watched an episode and now no. you told me you watched the golden bachelor you came over you're like are we talking about the golden bachelor i was like no because oh, i'm like, a oh. <laughs> philosopher i have a philosophy pro in it i don't know what that means <laughs> yeah I'm a philosophy pro at bachelor now it, yeah at well golden that's at anything jerry gary from the side do i look like lord Farquhar? For Farquhar? far quad no. it's so good i'm but, so into it do you know that for my whole life I was made to believe that girls are only pretty with long hair. Yeah, this is the 90s. Yeah. 80s. Well, 80s. I would think 80s. Well, also, I, I don't know if you're like me, but I hate everything when I first do it. And then I actually two really weeks like later, it. I'm like, <laughs> did you? I'm rich and famous. So <laughs> that's I how I feel I like think. I look like a little more expensive. Like I feel chic with short hair. Yeah. It, your hair looks so thick, so healthy, so shiny, which is so chic, LOL so rich because it's not. And it Your just hair owns it's this short. house, so I just want to <laughs> preface bought this myself. House. <laughs> I feel like she needs a name. Like, she's European. Ooh. Ooh. She's a European bob. And I feel like she needs a name. Like, like uh, something sassy, sexy European. Mm, 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 mm. Like Rosie. Like Rosie, Mia. Rose. Rose. Mia. Rose Mia. Rose Mia. <laughs> Mia Rose. Mia Rose. <laughs> Mia Rose. She also does porn. I love that. Mia Rose. I feel like that's like she, kind of porn. She's either rich or she's in porn. Either one. Or rich from porn. Or rich from porn. Yeah. That yeah. sounds nice. I love that. But I love that you're down for anything. I could be like, we're talking about this. You're like, great. Great. Let's do it. Like if I said we were talking about anal beads. <laughs> let's go. Bird, bird bring beads. out a suitcase. I'm like, which kind? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're like the what? Like the people on the streets that just pull it out. And they're like, yeah. what do you want? I got I it. Know. I got it. Whatever you kind of, what shape You were there size. when I showed you the Bertle beads. Ad yes, that I it was so yeah. funny. Yeah. I took video of it. I have it in my phone. It's real. I shared it with Off the Vine community. Oh, thank God. Because <laughs> it was like literally one of the... Fo- you're like, <laughs> I was like from the what were they depths called? of the sea yeah. to the bedroom sheets <laughs> of the Bertle beads deep inside yeah. yeah it was so funny have you ever beaded while making a sandwich I think I said <laughs> so stupid. Th- something I haven't done anal beads yeah I well, I maybe I have but what do you mean maybe it's something you wouldn't forget I think I've done like a tiny cute little butt plug but I've never oh. done like beads like just a little <laughs> butte moment yeah just like a cute little jewel oh but I was like I don't like it yeah okay so I was writing notes and I was like I wonder what point if you can remember what solidified our friendship I was trying to think about it because I was gonna say when I found out my dog had cancer but we were friends yeah, way that before was, that but that yeah. was just like a moment that I was like I just cherish because I fell apart for a second i was trying so hard to keep it together because i was like it's not my dog and i still want to like f- lose my mind like, <laughs> yeah what was the first thing i you ever s- do my makeup i mean we've been friends for five or six years seven seven yeah i mean i just feel like we kind of instantly became friends but i had f- so much fun when we did the jojo thing when you did that forever oh, ago right. we went to texas yeah we went to texas we were doing live on location yeah getting ready for the next season of the bachelor i also had so much fun with you when we went on the boat for your birthday. Oh, that was my 35th birthday. Yeah. I that had was so, so much fun. Fun. Yeah. Did you have fun at my New Year's party? Ugh. Oh my God. We had so much fun at your New Year's. Uh, that was, it was so fun. That was just a really good Everybody, time. It was a, such a good time. Everybody looked so hot. Yeah. It was like the perfect crowd. Yes. That's yeah. what, I felt really proud. I felt like I'll never forget. Um, Wells and Sarah when they got married um Sarah Highland yeah and Wells when they got married they were talking about at their wedding that they really wanted to take a moment to step away from everybody and watch all of their favorite people in the room like mingle with each other and Mm -hmm. dance and have the best time and so I remember doing that on my new year's party I was like I'm gonna I'm gonna do what they did on their wedding day and I'm just gonna say so at one point I was just looking at everybody like mingling and all of my different friend groups coming together and everyone having the best time and dancing and laughing and I was like <laughs> I know because parties are really fun especially when you have different groups of friends come and hang and you're like 
I knew you guys would always get along. Yes. And I felt so much pressure because I was hosting. So at the beginning yeah. of the night, I was like, is everybody having a good time? And like, <laughs> I just kept going around being like, are you having fun? Are you sure? I thought like everybody's having the worst time. I know, but no, that's not, no, not even in the slightest. It was so much fun. I just love friendships. Like I know. good, solid friendships are just so important. Like, Ugh, did girl. you have that in high school? Oh yeah. I had a you group. You did? Yeah. I didn't really get that. I changed high schools like mid, I think like in 10th grade or something. And then I had another friend group and I'm still friends with my girlfriend, Chara, yes. that was here. Yes. Was literally She's my lovely. friend from high school. Yeah. That's uh, crazy. And I have another friend in town from high school. Like Bree is my girlfriend from high school, but we weren't even in the same grade. So we didn't like have the same group of friends. Like we became really close when our mutual friend died in the car accident. So oh, that's how yeah. we like really got bonded. But in high school, I feel like I really missed out on like... People on my Off the Vine Facebook group were wondering, like, what was high school Caitlin like? And I was like, oh, I want to hug her. Yeah. Like, I was still me. I was, like, outgoing and trying to be funny. And I had friends. But I feel like I was more friends because I dated an older guy in high school. So when he, I was more friends <laughs> yes, with their... Did. Yeah. <laughs> she loves an older man. Yeah. And so when they graduated, all my friends were gone. And then the friends in my group, like, I feel like I was kind of just like solo really yeah steven glansberg oh man i was like so popular and so <gasps> friends with every group really yeah i do feel like i was friends with every group it was yeah. just but the the girls that were like the popular girls in high school like i was friends with them because they were my friends from elementary and junior high school yeah but they i feel like they didn't like me Yeah. yeah oh i had girls not like me he did. And for you know what? what they're doing now? They're twats and they <laughs> watch all my stories. Yes. Isn't that funny? I'm trying <laughs> to explain that to Sydney right now without sounding like a terrible person. Like I want to be like, all your friends are twats and so they're not going to care about you. All your friends are twats. Yeah. You'll have maybe you'll still talk to like one or two or three people. Yeah. Because she was like sad the other day about friends being mean or something. And I was mm. like, I was like, I don't even remember high school. Like you think in that moment, that's all that matters. And then later in life, you're like, I don't even remember high school. It didn't even matter. Yeah. And also my twenties. I don't remember my twenties either. Oh man. I felt like my twenties oh, lasted man. forever. Like I, I feel like I lived 10 different lives in my twenties and then I hit 30 and all of a sudden I'm 38. And I'm like, aren't I still 30 though? I know it's so weird. And like, I, you know, I just turned 40 and it's, it's just so crazy how, I don't know. It's just weird. I'm like, I I got here. <laughs> yeah. That's a woman that t my hairstylist, Joe, as he was cutting my hair today, was telling me a story about this woman who has survived wars and she was 103 and died by choking on a peach. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know. She what? And then you're like, but I'm like, I don't know how I didn't die in oh, my twenties oh, or think, like late time. teens. Like, oh. how did I, how did I get here? And then you think about this poor lady, you could literally, you could die on a choking on a peach tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we're going to, Trip on cashews. Yeah. Yeah. De die. Death by butt plug. You, just at, a baby one. Just a cute just little a butt little plug. Yep. At 99. And that's how she goes. Oh, if I was 99, died from butt plug, I think that'd be pretty that'd epic. That'd be dope. It, that makes the paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 100%. That gets on that, Late Night with Andy Cohen. For that sure. also gets its own like late night special. Oh, it gets a movie. Yeah. It gets a documentary. It gets everything. Yeah. yeah. Off the Vine is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Vine is whether you love true crime or comedies, celebrity interviews, news, even motivational speakers, you always get to call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. Am I right? And guess what? Now you can call the shots on your auto insurance too. Enter the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. The Name Your Price tool puts you in charge of your auto insurance by working just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance, and then they'll show you a variety of coverages that will fit within your budget, giving you options. Now that's something you're going to want to press play on. It's easy to start a quote and you'll be able to choose the best options for you and fast. Just one of the many ways that you can save with Progressive Insurance. Quote today at Progressive.com to try the Name Your Price tool for yourself and join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Have you ever gone through a friendship breakup? Mm, yeah. Yeah. How do you deal with that? I've never gone through, or I haven't in a long time gone through a, uh, like, I never want to talk to you again. Yeah. Yeah. I, same thing. Like, I've never had, like, it's done between us. But I feel like I've had moments where I'm like, 
this person might not be the energy I need in my life right now. Or also, like, we just might not be good for each other. It, yeah. It's not always the other person. Right. It's also, I've had a hand yes. in this. We yes. may not just be good for each other. And I've recently, I've had, like, just people I just don't talk to as much or I take space, they take space, and that's okay. And sometimes you can come back together from it and, like, have a healthier yeah. relationship from it. I'm a big space taker. I've been doing a lot of therapy recently just because I've been in a dark place. No, I was just, this. I don't know, I think getting sick made me feel depressed. Girl, yeah. And then I... You can't go anywhere. Oh, and I'm like, I need to go do things. I know. I love a, like, lazy day, but... One. Not one. Five. Yeah. But I've been like, I don't know, just when I'm in a bad mental space, I feel like I get really angry at people. And I hate that because I'm not like an angry person. Mm -hmm. But I've been working through in therapy a lot of resentment, even if it's past relationships, friendships, like, and a big part that I'm learning is looking at what I've done. Yeah. In, like, which is the hardest thing to do, but it's looking so hard. inward at the part that you took in that relationship and why it could be possibly unhealthy yeah but it actually has helped me because i'm like they could sit there and say all this shit about me i could sit here and say all this shit about them yeah might as well take some ownership 100 percent, and that's kind of like where i mentally go and then i just am like well well wait they they're taking distance from me oh but like i did everything wrong but yeah. also i'm like maybe i need distance from you yeah. as well mm -hmm. and this is like a mutual agreement i'm just I don't have a lot of people pleasing skills, but I do have some like fear of. I'm the same. I'm not like a me. huge people pleaser, but when somebody is upset with me, I'm like crippled by that. That's why I don't smoke weed. What? Because you? Because it makes me think. I literally. Are you like, paranoid? I, I can't even be around weed, and I'm like, every, <laughs> every everyone's mad at me. Anyone you smell it, you're like, they hate me. Oh, yeah. it's, it's awful. It's an awful feeling. I can't oh. smoke weed. Sorry. I know. It's such a bummer. What about an edible? Uh, I think anything in my Save system. Oh. And I'm like, oh. yeah, I remember like everything stupid I've ever said. And I'm like, there, everyone's talking. Everyone's like on a massive Zoom talking shit about me. That's so <laughs> funny. I feel like that in my dreams. I, like what? my subconscious is wildly insecure. Oh, she needs to. All of my dreams, I'm either getting cheated on. People are laughing at me while I'm crying. Oh, God. People hate me. Everyone gangs up on me. Like, I've had the most, like, crazy dreams recently where the world is, like, crumbling around me and I'm, like, trying to survive. Like, it happens all the time. Do you have a dream book or do you ever Google what it all means? The time. And it's just, like, girl. I keep having these dreams where, like, really bad things happen, but then I survive. And so that's basically, I'm, like, going to doomsday with, like, certain things recently. Everybody hates me and I'm going to lose my career and nothing good is good. And it's just like, you're going to survive and thrive out of it. Like, you're just having a low moment. You think yeah. the world is crumbling around yeah. you and you're being dramatic and it's actually all good. I, you know, I will say something did click. I know everybody says this, but something did click when I hit 40. It's not that I don't give a f It's that I give a f about the right things. Yes. I, I can't wait for you to be 40 because you're something's going to click. And I think anything that's like kind of getting in your own way, which is you getting in your own way. Yeah, it's it's just kind of kind of fade away. It's funny because I go through so many phases where sometimes I'm in my own way so much and sometimes I'm like, pew, and yeah. like, I'm like, okay, only up from here. And then I go through phases where I'm like, wait, how do I go backwards from that? How come I can't just keep going pew? I know. <laughs> pew, pew. I just, pew, pew, pew. I just keep wanting, I just want. I know, the trajectory, that. you're like, what happened? It's, it's like fear-based related things. And oh my gosh. I've had a spiritual coach for a hot minute, but I'm like really leaning into her right now. So we do Zoom sessions mm -hmm. and the meditations she will put me through, I ball my eyes out every time. And then you need to talk to her. She I is, know, like phone a friend. Her name is Courtney. She is a godsend to me. And I try and talk to her once a month. I try to do therapy twice a month, talk yeah. to her once a month, and like exercise because that helps me mentally. And you're really good about all those things. Yeah, I am really good. But when I, I realized in that week of being sick, when I don't do those things, I'm like, oh, I actually am mentally ill. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. that's okay because I know how to get myself out of it and I know how to work with it. But wow, not being able to do those things. I know, isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. And hobbies and like things that we love doing are just like so important and yeah get out of here I have to like listen to books and like we've talked about the like the, all the Brianna Weiss books and like all those things yes. like I have to have them yes it's weird <laughs> have you done 
spiritual coaching before? Mm-mm. Have you? Do you know the chakras at all? Mm-mm. Okay, so there's certain chakras in your body that mean different things, and I'm like not an expert, and I'm slowly learning. But the very first time I did the chakra meditation, she was just like, breathe into your tailbone and this, breathe into uh, right below your belly button, breathe in between your ribs, and each time I was breathing into them, she was like, really notice what comes up, and like anything goes, and I was like. Yeah, it's weird because when I breathe into my tailbone, like, I just don't feel anything. But when I breathe into below my belly, I start thinking about my childhood. And, like, when I breathe in between here, I, all my fears start coming up. Like, it's when you really pay attention, it's crazy how intuitive my body is. Yeah. Like, I like, can tap into my, like, higher self. Your third eye. It's well, that, And then that's one of your chakras. chakras. Yep. I know you have a throat chakra. Yeah. Because Chris is always like, your throat chakra is clogged or something I'm like really yeah you would think I would know more about this having like a best friend who's an energy healer but you know <laughs> yeah. <here we> <laughs> yeah wait yeah I forgot he was yeah he's practiced and taken so much educational paths down just learning so everything cool. your yeah. throat chakra interesting do you feel like you're not heard sometimes sometimes I don't want to be heard sometimes oh. I think sometimes I hate explaining shit because I I already know Getting somebody to speak your exact language is annoying. Mm-hmm. And this is probably my Capricorn. I'm like, by the time it took me to f- explain this or talk to you about something or to say this, I already, yeah. bitch, I already did it. Yeah. It's yeah. already done. Yeah. That so is I don't need to talk to you about it. Yeah. I'm also like, I'm like middle child, tough, never cry. Yeah. No one ever worries about me because I've got it together kind of girl. Now, do you <laughs> wish people worried about you more or are you no. good with it? No. Okay. Because I know somebody that always is helping others and sometimes they feel like alone from that because they always know that they're the person that people come to when they need help and nobody ever asks if he needs help. I'm a self-soother, so it's it's hard for me to even... I mean, you saw it firsthand. I yeah. cried for three minutes and then I was like, okay. I and then, then I was back to... Yeah. And you're like, here we go. Yeah. yeah. And then I just like did what I needed to do, got my dog through that, got I got through that and just yeah. like... It's just how I've always been. I have a hard time accepting that that's who I am and that I'm not more emotional and that I'm not more because it, I've always had it in my brain that that's like bitchy, but I'm like, that's, I'm not bitchy. I'm so warm. Yeah. Yes. You are so warm. And I just don't have the time. (laughs) And I feel like you're so honest and raw that I'm surprised you aren't more emotional, but that makes sense if you're a self soother. Mm -hmm. I'm a self soother. Big time. I am too, but I cry. I only I, yeah. I only cry when I'm really PMSy and yeah. then I it's like okay that's it, enough crying yeah like I, I'm making yeah. the last time oh PMSy or if I'm really tired Ooh, yeah and then anything really related to animals I actually think my friends will really need to worry about me when my dogs die yeah I mean I will say my friend showed up for me when I was put that week that I was putting yes. the Twilight was in hospice and I I, I know it's okay. I mean, my friends rallied yeah, so did. hard around me yeah. and it like, I mean, they were coming over, bringing food. That bitch was eating hamburgers. She yes. was like, am I the pub? And I was like, yes, yes you, you are. are. <laughs> you on the other side? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was like, my mom was with me. My friend Jen was with me. My yeah. sister-in-law was with me when I put her down. It was like, I don't ask for things. If I ask you for something, I need it and I, I mean it and I need it help yeah but oh, that's other than that yeah, i'm good for help i'd be like i'm there yeah <laughs> yeah I'd be like, I'd be like that's serious yeah it's serious. Karen's asking for help yeah i'm not a cry wolf kind of bitch Ooh, i'm a bit of a cry wolf kind of. not anymore right. but i was either <laughs> i think even i was false. now i just can't handle lying like even if it's something small like a white lie i hate it oh when people are like are you okay and you're like yeah i'm cool yeah, yeah, and everything's cool. Everything's great. Everything's or like cool. even an excuse to like not go out. I'm like, I have to just say I don't want to. Yeah. Like I just can't make up. Yeah. Just tell the truth always. Yeah. It's just the best. Policy. My new thing is going. Sadly, I'm mm-hmm. gonna stay home, make ramen, and take a bath. But I next time, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, unfortunately, I'm not in the mood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Warmest regards. Tampa. I was just thinking. Of <laughs> like I hope this finds you well, but no. <laughs> <laughs> to whom it may concern absolutely not <laughs> Chris calls me the queen of no 
Oh, it's I love so that. funny. It's so funny. It's great. I didn't even like realize I was doing it. Cause I'll be like, no, I don't want to go or no, no. But, like you guys have fun or yeah. no or whatever. Or, or like, he'll be like, Hey, I can't do this makeup. And I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do it. I don't want to do it. My day off is my day off. Yeah. I'm not doing it. And it's just so funny. I'm like, do I really say no that much? That's cool though. Like, nope. Queen of no. Queen of no. Nope. I think there's like something in the art of yes, of like living more and going and doing all those things. Mm-hmm. It's just, I'm in a season of like very solitary, choosy, picky. Times. Do you know who the spirit daughter is on Instagram? No. Okay. I just had her on the podcast and she was saying that I'm looking her up. I'm not just like, she is just yeah, like, <laughs> Stand by, please. I got that. Uh, she was talking about how uh, numeral New, wait numerology yeah and how t- the year 2023 it was about like hybridation and inwards and and like prepping for 2024 is like empowering go do what you want and we were kind of saying that before oh, the yeah. podcast started like yeah it's a it's kind of like you could say no to whatever you want but like you're saying yes to everything you want yes i guess and i'm saying it. no to things i don't want but i'm definitely saying yes you're like bunch hard of no's and hard yeses yeah out in between yeah the spirit daughter yeah also, what is your night routine and what is your morning routine? Is it strict? Is it flexy, sexy flexy? Sexy flexy. Okay. I mean, skincare? Stricty. 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 Dicty. Dicty. <laughs> Stricty dicty on the skincare. Okay. Loosey goosey on the like, right. I don't know what time I'm waking up. I, if I'm going to have like, a coffee right when I wake up or if I'm going to have electrolytes and water first. We don't know. I don't know. We don't know. Don't care. Don't care. No. I don't yeah. know what the day is going to bring. And at night, I'm like, I would like to have a healthy meal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I would like to crawl into bed at a reasonable hour. Mm-hmm. Are you TV on TV off? But if I want to swing from the rafters till 3 a.m., I'm going to do that. If I'm going to play hide and seek for until 3 a.m. with two fuzzy animals, then that's what I'm going to do. That's my nighttime. I love to just like be in bed with my animals. Yeah. How do you feel about if you were to date somebody and they girl? <laughs> Are you dating somebody? No, I'm happy. You would, yeah, you would have known. And also, I'm like very happily single right now. Oh, I love that. Yeah, like super happy. That's so great when people can be happily single because that just shows your ability to. Just love on yourself. Yeah, it's I, I don't have the space mm-hmm. right at the moment. And so great that you know that because a lot of people try and fill voids with dating. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I was, I did. Yeah, I oh, was. Yeah. Well, you know, I was yeah. dating that guy and I, I wasn't even happy, so I don't know what I was doing. I think he just made you giggle. He made me giggle. Yeah. And he was tall. And it, it, <laughs> no, giggle and th- that's two Those are two of my fives. Five. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. If he said he doesn't like dogs in the bed. Oh, see yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was having this conversation. I was out for dinner in Nashville, like, I don't know, two weeks ago. And this couple was really obsessed with their dog. And I was talking about how obsessed with them. And then uh, I'm with my dogs. And I was like, no, like, I love smelling their breath to fall asleep. And they were like, what? And they're like, oh, we don't let our dogs sleep in the bed. I'm like, pardon? And then we got into this whole conversation about sleeping. And half the group thought it was, like, dirty. And not good. And I mean, if you think about like, it, it's dirty. I want them on my face. Right. But I'm like, how often do these people wash their sheets? Because if they don't wash their sheets every other day, that's dirty too. For anybody that's listening and watching, go follow Taryn on Instagram because her dogs. I'm not really sure where that audio kicked out and where we're coming back in. But I was saying people should follow Taryn on Instagram because you have three very sweet, cute dogs. So cute. And... Okay, so Taryn's a celebrity makeup artist. You've done my makeup for seven years. And so crazy. do you ever think about posting? You've been posting a lot on TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. Oh, what's your TikTok? My TikTok is at Taryn Feldman. T-A-R-R-Y-N. Two R's, Feldman. Huh? Yeah, I'm a two R. I, I feel like we talked about this last time, but wh- I feel like your mom was just like, she's different. She's, di- she's different. Who's your favorite celebrity you've ever done makeup on? One I can't say. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll sign an NDA. Okay, cool. Just so I won't tell anyone. Okay, but who like who are I mean, you like? I wow. love Chelsea Handler so much. Yeah, Chelsea is so. She's my dream guest to have on this okay, podcast. Well, I'll work on that. Okay, I have a little game I'd like to play with you. Okay, great. Because we were st- we were talking about dating earlier, mm. and this was um how do you proceed? Okay, game. 
Okay. So I'm going to give you a situation okay. like he doesn't want dogs in oh, the bed. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Bye. you tell me how you proceed. Okay. What if he showed up with thong flip flops and a Hawaiian t-shirt? How would you proceed? I don't know. Is it a bit? <laughs> <laughs> you do it a bit. Yeah. Babe, you do it a bit. Hey, babe. Okay. Because if you are, that's kind yeah, of funny. Bit. Come on in. <laughs> if you're not doing a bit. Is I, this for real? Yeah. You're doing a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're doing a character? That's how you yeah. proceed. I like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. You're about to order and they interrupt you and start ordering for you. Please don't. <laughs> don't. Yeah. Would you say right straight away? I would say, what do you do? No, that's not. I don't. You're like, I am the desert dry as a bone down there. Yeah. My <laughs> pussy ran away. <laughs> I got to I gotta go catch it. Got I'll be there. back. You stay here. No, no. Yeah. Order it all. And then I'll just leave. <laughs> Perfect. They Sorry. bring up their so ex pussy. in every conversation. Oh, that's a the easiest way. I do this. You bring up your ex in every com. Caitlin, I, you gotta stop. I know. I I no. realized. I've realized that I do that not in a negative way. Like I'm not. It's just always. I always have a memory or a story. But I'm I'm like that with everybody. Like um, not just exes, just people that have been in my life. I'm always like, oh, this one time that happened. Like and I. But I bring. I tend to bring up exes a lot. Yeah. I mean, that's a great warm memory. And I. I was. I mean, there was a time where I probably talked about Hunter a lot. Yeah. But after years after right. we. I, but I gotta stop. Is yeah, you gotta stop because okay. it's just nobody. I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> it's there. It's great. It's warm. We're homies. Yeah. Ugh. And then blah, 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 blah. that's it. Okay. Yeah. They get up to go to the bathroom and grab you by the neck and force a kiss on you on the first date. That's. I mean, that's kind of hot. Is it like in a hot way? Or, yeah. Because that could be weird. But if it's hot. Grab right, me by the that, neck any time. That's true, actually. Any old time. I think I wrote that being like, this is weird. But now that I picture it, I'm like, that's, that's f- not. <laughs> Listen, we're in our sexual prime. I, look, I thought I was asexual for a very long time. Turns out I'm not. Literally, the, the older we're getting right now, we are. Oh, does the sex We drive? are becoming more and more like 16-year-old high school horny boys i also did a brave brave thing and took my antidepressants down five milligrams okay and i feel like that's got me all sorts the beast? of turned on yes girl like i'm not all the way turned on just from getting rid of five milligrams of sel- <laughs> i'm like obviously you got rid of five you're like taryn do you like to be choked in public <laughs> <laughs> Taryn, do you have any nudes you'd like to share with me? <laughs> I've seen your nudes. They are hot. Uh, they are so hot. <laughs> they are. Don't <laughs> underestimate <laughs> me. <laughs> I never Text me. I will you. DM anyone nudes. Yeah, they're good. They're so good. Yeah. You, you're just like, I don't know what it is about your nudes, but I feel like <laughs> I can feel your confidence through them. Oh, yeah, because I'm like, how dope does this lingerie look on me? (laughs) DraftKings Casino is bringing you only the best. Classics like blackjack, roulette, and slots, plus exclusive games that you won't find anywhere else. Now, if you know me, that you know, I love a good card game. My personal favorite is blackjack. I just love it. I feel like there's some skill and strategy involved when you play but I mean like it's still the luck of the draw my sister and I actually love playing the slots and what better place to play than the comfort of your couch download the DraftKings casino app now and use code vine new players get an instant deposit match up to $100 in casino credits when you deposit $5 or more that's code vine on DraftKings casino the crown is yours gambling problem call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net in Connecticut help is available for problem gambling call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org please play responsibly 21 years or older, physically present in Connecticut, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia only, void in Ontario. Eligibility and other restrictions apply. One per new customer must opt in and make minimum $5 deposit within seven days, 168 hours to be exact, of registering with new account. Max match $100 in casino credits, which require one-time playthrough within seven days, so 168 hours. See terms at casino.draftkings.com slash new player offer 2024. Sometimes I'm the most confident. I'll take a nude. I'll like look in the mirror. I'll high five myself. I'll be like, I'll wake up and I'll be like, I'm the tits. <laughs> look at I this. am the tits. And yeah. then other times I'm like, you stupid, ugly bitch. You, I know. Like I'm 
it's so bad. It's so bad. It's really hard to get caught up in that, but it's literally fake. It's not real. And even like in six months, we kind of look different. Like every, we just keep getting older and then we look back and we go, damn, I look so hot. Yes. So it's literally pointless to like harp on yourself in the moment. It's just, it's so dumb. Yeah. I talked about this on my podcast before, but I'm going to say it again. I heard Megan Trainer do this thing where she will stand in the mirror naked Mm -hmm. and just like you eye gaze yeah and you start like really like being like no I actually love this about my body and I yeah. love it and it, you're like so uncomfortable at the beginning but after like a week of doing that every day you're like mm-hmm. I love this about yeah. myself everyone's like, hot everyone's hot I have just such severe body dysmorphia it's so crazy well look what you f- do for a living Ugh, and growing up dancing oh my god oh, yeah. and I just always like well actually no I've gotten a lot better but I will like I would like pinch parts of my stomach and be like, how do I get rid of this? And now if I ever feel it and I pinch it, I go, thank you for protecting my uterus. Well, <laughs> yeah. that's what I was doing. I know. I've always been a bigger girl. And the, the like fact that I have chosen to be in an industry and do what I do where I'm around skinny girls that complain about <laughs> yes. being fat yes. is a whole other thing to unpack. Yes. I'm like, your worst fear is looking like me. I can't even rap. But that's so, I am, it, it, I it's am so weird. But to me. I want to be you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all f- up. It's all, why are we like this? I don't know. And then, and yeah, and I, I, I don't know. I mean, and I also am like, oh, I want to be, I want to look like that too. But it's like, but I don't. So I look like this. And I also don't I think have you do. Generational, like I, my family looks like me. Yeah. Your, you have that body because of your family. Yeah, it's, that's it's true. Just, it's all your face looks like your face because your mom and your dad. And my, I used to get like, so mad at my one eye being smaller than my other. I would literally go crazy over it in the mirror. And then now I see my dad's one is smaller yeah. than his, and I'm like. Oh, bless. I got it from the dad. I know. I look just like my dad and just like my grandma. And I act, I'm quirky like my mom. And like, who gives a shit? Yeah. One day we're going to be dead. I saw that. I heard that. I heard (laughs) that one day we're going to die. But there is a girl on TikTok. She was like, one day we're all going to be. No, she said a hundred years from from now. It's 2124. We're all dead. This is really dark and morbid, but a crazy perspective. People are going to be living in the houses we worked really hard for. Our photos are going to be gone. People won't remember us. Yeah. And we're sitting here freaking out over things we can't control. Well, I mean, also six months, we're not even going to remember things that we're like stressed about. Right. It's the control thing. I don't know what, when we became so controlling over every little thing. Yeah. And like... That is something about being 40 that I think you're particularly going to love is that or something that's changed for me is that I literally am just like, I, I, I don't know. I can't control it. It's just that's it's so going to be what it's going to be. Kat Campbell is like that. And she <laughs> but she happy happy that bitch is. I know she's literally just so shit just doesn't face her. That doesn't matter if it's out of her control. She lets it go. Does she get really mad over tiny little things? No. Oh, okay. Nothing bothers her. But and like if it does, she'll just have a straight up conversation about it and it'll be in like a very authentic way and move forward. Yeah. Like she's just like a solid human. Yeah. Crazy. I know. I, I do wish I, I do get like amped up and stuff, but I, just feel like the older I'm getting, I'm like, I I can't control this person. Yeah. If you don't want to be in my life, if you don't want to work with me, if you don't want to date me, if you don't want anything with me, that's okay. What is the word? Um, re- reciprocity. Uh, thank you. My word for 2024 is yeah. reciprocity. Yeah. That's one of mine too. I mean, it has I to be. I can't pronounce it very often, but <laughs> it's, it's so true. And yeah. like, then you pull back and you go, I, why is it that like, you don't like me, but now I'm going to try even harder. Like, no, I can't, I, blah, blah, I can't. That's, that is what I look forward to because I can tell I'm getting there every year more and more. Mm-hmm. And what a great feeling. Yeah. It's a good feeling. Like I look around and I talked about this on my podcast last time with, when I looked around at my new year's party, I was like, I have the best friends yeah such a dope crew it's just it was such a dope crew yeah it was the dopest crew I loved every second of it and I was just like god Mm -hmm. it really is important who you surround yourself with oh my god it's so important I wish I could surround myself with a gypsy rose do you (laughs) 
<laughs> Listen. Like the older generation generation hates her and the younger generation is like our queen. She's the pope. I mean, look, the They're the, like she's a murderer. I think any of us would have killed our mom. She had surgeries and terrible things. I think her mom bestowed upon her some really shitty tendencies that I think she was really, I mean, you can watch inter- interviews of her. That's like, I learned from the best. Yeah. yeah. I'm manipulative and crazy just like her. Yeah. I mean, she literally manipulated a dude to kill her mom and then was like, I think we should break up. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should see other people. I think we should see other people. <laughs> I mean, she literally like in, in, in interviews, she's like, who? Yeah, I don't know. I can't speak on him. I don't know. I guess he's going to spend the rest of his life in jail. I don't know. I have to focus on me. So and what? Next talk- question. Uh, the top is Zara. And- the Panther Zara. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Didn't she say something about how she's like the guy that she's with? Like she loves the D. Didn't she say yeah, that? She was like, the D is fire. <laughs> and the top is Zara. I cannot worry about the man who killed my mother that I did she actually get- say the top is Zara? No, she did. She did a get ready with no, me. No, she didn't. Yes. Obsessed. She's been on TikTok like doing get readies with me. You and need I'm to like, do her makeup. A hundred percent. Yeah. You have to. It's going to happen. I wonder if she'll like go on tour and then well, she'll come to Nashville. I think for advocacy, she's like really into. Yeah. yeah. So and if she's a piece of shit, we'll find out about it really quick. So yeah, whatever. absolutely. But she seems like just. But good for her. Yeah. What a f- wildlife did you, you watched the documentary right i watched the documentary i watched the joey king show yeah i was obsessed with all of it yeah i could not like it's so wild imagine being in prison and coming out to instant fame i think she likes it she loves it she loves it she loves it she which loves is, it i mean i would too if I'm i sure was too. stuck I wonder in how prison old she is do you know 32 wild I was just thinking of like hot topics. I'm like, yeah, Gypsy Rose, but then I'm <laughs> Taylor. Swift. Have you ever done Taylor Swift's makeup? No. Oh, interesting. Cause she's Nashville. No, she's or not. She was. Well, she was. Yeah. I feel like you would slay. Oh, I'd slay. Yeah. Anybody would slay that fate. Her skin is like perfect. Her eye is like, and I wing love liner, her nose. like half lash. It's so red lip. Bye. I c- see ya. It's so easy. I feel like I could do Taylor Swift's makeup. Yeah. Wing lip and wing lip, wing lip and, and red, red liner. Eye. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. You'd kill it. <laughs> uh, I'll call some people. <laughs> I freaking love. I love Taylor. I just love her. I was like, Gypsy Rose and Taylor are really having their moments right now. They're having big moments. Oh, I wanted to ask you this. Have you watched Saltburn? Talk about horny. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Oh. But, okay, so you, it's good. Should I watch it? Yeah. Okay. I feel like people are either like, eh, and maybe it's the horny ones that like it. I think it's people that just yeah. understand like good film that oh. are like, oh my God. But also it's original. The cast was great. The set was great. The guy who played like the main, not uh, Jacob Alordi, but the other dude. I mean, the whole thing was just wild. It is horny. Really? It is like kink city. Oh. It's dope. Maybe I could get inspired. I'm going to give a freak on. Get your girl yeah i don't want to get my freak on i feel like i was like Buy yourself a rose i was always n- known as like the sexual bachelorette do you know what a rose is no oh google it buy it what Text me when you're done shut up sex toy yeah the best sex toy rose. my girlfriend gave it to me for my 40th birthday and i had something similar but i mean do you watch porn yeah mm. not a lot but yeah like once in a while it'll do it for you <laughs> porn's funny <laughs> Porn is hilarious. Porn's funny because I just am like, ugh, just fast forward to the good shit. Also, it's the acting, so funny. the acting turns me off immediately. That's why I fast forward. So I'm like, what? Oh, so you watch like porn, porn, not like amateur, just like a couple making a hot close up. Oh, porn. no. Oh, that's my jam. Wh- where do you find that? On Pornhub. Oh, that's where I go. <laughs> I like lesbian porn. <laughs> you would. <laughs> I was into that for a minute. That's all I could watch. Yeah, yeah. I was into that for a minute. That's I can't do dick and vagina. No. Oh, I think it's hot. No. It like makes me uncomfy, which is weird. It's so funny. Yeah. So you'd rather just like watch two girls going down on each other? Yeah. Two hot pretty girls on a set with full glam just like going down on no, each other. No, I don't even want them to be hot. No, well, I want them to be attracted. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want them to be like gross. I want to be attracted, just but like, I'm just two girls. Yeah, not I want them like to be full... more real. I don't want yeah. them to be like Big porn, porn, porn. porn. Yeah. yeah, like porn star. I like, I like it to feel like they're That's they mean so it. hot. Have yeah. you hooked up with a girl? Oh yeah, you have. Oh yeah, I didn't know she was a fluid queen. Oh yeah, she's <laughs> fluid. <laughs> That's so That's, hot. 
th- my podcast listeners know I don't want to be with a woman. Like right. I definitely want to be with a guy, but like hooking up with a woman, I think is hot. Just in my brain, I go. So you're like, so if, if, maybe if, I'm not bisexual. Maybe I'm just, I fluid, fluid. Yeah. Yeah. Queer. Queer. Yeah. Queer. Okay. I'm going to end with this. Okay. If you could rummage through any celebrity's closet and mm. do their makeup at the same person, who would you pick? If I could rummage through their closet, closet, closet and do their makeup. Yeah. Probably Adele. Cause I could probably fit Ooh. in some of her shit. I love Adele. Yeah. And also oh. bitch, let me talk about a liner i'm really into fletcher right now she's so i did her makeup once you she's did gorgeous she's really cool. gorgeous yeah i, I love her. her uh a show here pride i think oh uh, she's super cool i had two three drinks last night i feel hungover today really yes that's kind of how i get too well that's never how i am that's why i'm having a guinness so guinness sent me a they saw that i liked guinness because i was in ireland and they sent me a bunch of Guinness and a... That's so cute. What is that called? Engraved. Have you had glass? a car bomb? Uh-huh. Ugh. So yummy. What you would think would be disgusting because it's literally like curdling. It's like a milky Bailey's... Isn't it Bailey's dropped yeah, in a Guinness? it's delicious. It's so good. I mean, it tastes obviously like, you can't sit and wait or have a warm tastes one. tastes like coffee. Yeah, it's so good. So good. What are you excited about this year? Or you probably can't talk about it I yet. know. I'm like excited about things I can't talk about. Okay. But I'm so excited. Well, we'll have you back on when you can talk okay. about it. Because yeah. I'm very excited for you too. Yeah. And I'm just excited to... I'm I'm going to get spiritual as f- this year. Uh, like I am going to go to a weird place. Dude, we need to have a cacao ceremony. Yes. <gasps> I know a girl in Nashville that does it. Ruth Dope. Lindsay. Oh, cool. Oh, Ruth Lindsay does? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. You know what we should do? We should do like a live ceremony. Okay. So that everybody else could join okay. us. Okay. Well, let's do a live ceremony. That'd be fun. Okay. For all the the witchy woo woos that are with us. Some are like no All thanks. the Wiccans. <laughs> but all yeah. Katie Macaroni would do it. Katie Macaroni would do it? Oh yeah. Oh, she's a witch. In the best way. She's I knew that Katie Macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> You, you know her well. I know. I pegged her. I was like, <laughs> do you want to pole dance with me? <laughs> yeah. Be friends. I'll f*** your name up. <laughs> and also burn some intentions or what? <laughs> uh, thank you for coming over and podcasting with me. I'm like, keep looking outside to see if the snow is. I feel like oh, there's a little snow. Oh, there is cute. Yeah. It doesn't look. Oh, it's snowing a little. But please drive home safe because I will. Nashville don't know how to. Do I know, winter. but it's barely snowing. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, as as I'm a Californian ice. and I'm like, oh, my God, we're going to be true. fine. Uh, the grocery stores have been empty. It is the apocalypse. And it's so funny because it's oh, snowing oh. tomorrow. That's it. And <laughs> it's sunny the next day. And people are melt. freaking out. No. Like ever, the the I'm like I want a sled. Gone. Like how much snow are we talking? I want a sled. If there is a lot, we should because um, Kat and Chandler, we want to go sledding. Oh my god! I'll bring the puppy. Stop it. Yes. <gasps> yeah, I'll bring much. the puppies I too. My heart can't handle it. Oh my gosh, puppies, babies. It'll be sledding. his first snow. because <gasps> he's four months old. <laughs> oh my god! It's his god. first everything. <laughs> that's, that's so cute. I can't wait. If, uh, th- I hope there's snow on the ground for the boys in the morning. Uh, oh, how cute. How cute. Bye, guys. Okay. Thanks for listening and watching. I'm Caitlin Bristow. I'll see you next Tuesday. See you next